And then Ike has been kind of the same. Oh, this one? Oh, okay. We're in this scene, everybody. That's because Jonathan Q Numbers uh, has to play a set, so we are without a stream runner for the moment. Yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, John is going to go fight either Spoopy or Steelix. Ooh, it's going to be Steelix. Yeah, so that's going to happen on presumably Station 20, as on Station 21, y'all can see, is uh, Dill and JoJ, also a top eight qualifier. But the main show and the main star of this bracket is that winner's, fi uh, that winner's final qualifying slot up for grabs. And Mega, while down a little bit of percent here, he's got at the very least an advantage when it comes to stage. A lot of these, a lot of the time it feels like uh, he's been positioning himself extremely well to force Gatsby back into a corner. But when Gatsby gets damage, he gets big damage. Absolutely. What was that angle? <laughs> <laughs> Obliterated. You're, no, nothing's coming back. <laughs> no. But I am very uh, excited to see how Mega handles this particular matchup because we saw in his set against John Numbers earlier where Mega was really making his money was when he started slowing things down and taking a more patient game plan. And I'm interested to see how that matches up against a much more explosive player like Gatsby who likes to just get in there and press buttons. You gotta press the right buttons when it comes down to it, though, or else Mega will be able to swing right on top of you or find cheeky reversals like that, the empty land grab. Gatsby going for the uh, down throw bear, but not able to chase out of it. There's so many instances where it feels like Gatsby wants to pursue, but then second guesses or maybe will like hunt for a parry, and Mega, ever the patient, doesn't swing until he's sure he can set up for a stock like that, reverse nair into up air finishing off stock number two, and he's looking rather pretty with it. Yeah, that was a beautiful ledge trapping sequence from Mega, just picking all of the right options against Gatsby, and some more conversions off of the platform. Dead. Oh, oh, wait, he's a genius. He reversed the ether, <laughs> and now he's almost what? getting the... Okay, he, he a little lost it. in the sauce, but... <laughs> I mean, solid. the awareness from Gatsby to tech the rising hit of the Aether Dude. off of the stage. <laughs> no, that was... I mean, you gotta be ready to tech those as a Falcon player, or else you just explode to the... the to the uh -oh. slightest uh -oh. of freeze. Oh, you, you... What? Why? Why would you read that? How did you read that? <laughs> because it worked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let me see that again. Let me see it again. I wanna see it. Let me... Let me go. Maybe. Uh, oh. L. L. Unfortunate. That's fine. It's okay. But <laughs> but the trick, the, the fact that Gatsby read neutral air dodge drift in, like specifically, like that is a, like air dodge has a lot more nuance to it because of its omnidirectional movement. And he just, he's just hard reading with these up smashes. The tech on the platform makes sense, but the knee afterwards, after that up air, Gatsby feeling on fire after a closing out of game number one, and now Stockholm number one is in the grave with it. And Gatsby just continues the pressure right Gatsby now. Stop. Finally, finally <laughs> the Aether coming out. The super armor, just get off of me, please. I would like to play the video game now. Oh, but the phantom hit on the forward air as well, giving Gatsby the space to continue his pressure. Not quite getting the uh, sweet spot of the knee, unfortunately, but it, the, it the buttons just keep coming. He's, he's out here swinging. It's almost like a complete inverse, as you were touching on earlier, like the complete inverse of play styles, right? He was right, but didn't get rewarded. The, like, Gatsby is always willing to push the initiative, always willing to come at you, press buttons, raw dare, straight onto you, gets the sour hit, and then you explode three stocks to one. Meanwhile, Mega wants to try and control the pace of the game and willing to hit you with mix-ups where he's slowing himself down and catching you off guard and throwing off your parry timing. But if you're not allowed to set up those timing mix-ups and instead just constantly on the back foot, the results speak for themselves. Yeah, <laughs> and just like you were Ooh. saying, just like you were saying, Ubel, you know, Mega was just trying to find that space for himself, rolling backward, using that Aether, trying to get Gatsby off of him, and it it just wasn't working. John is he's, still in his chair. He's, he hasn't he's still gone there to play his set. We can make his I set. I haven't a, left yet. <laughs> we can make John's yeah. set a mainstream set now. Woo.
Yeah, right, because it looks like Vivi and JoJ actually overcoming Dill in the loser's bracket, which cements the top eight as Mega, Gatsby, Zamba, Jen, 